Hi everybody and welcome back to a new vlog. And if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I can't quite believe the last time I picked up the camera was after the wedding. I just feel like I have been really overwhelmed by it all. Not just the wedding, but we are renovating our house. We are currently living in a rented property, which is actually my old family home. Um, it's where I grew up with my mum and my nan, but it's just not the same being back here. It's it's not the same like we don't have our own furniture here and you know all your home comforts we don't have so i have just been feeling really really overwhelmed with everything going on pollyanna has left and finished nursery she is starting school in september um there has just been so much going on and then i guess the wedding was taking my mind of all the other things that were going on so like the house renovation and not being in our own home and it, things like that and then once the wedding was over it was kind of straight back to reality so we haven't gone on our honeymoon we're going to be doing that next year we're going to go to the Maldives hopefully fingers crossed it was literally straight back to reality as soon as we got home which was very very I struggled with quite a bit I I like to savor moments I like to really like soak them in and i just felt like with after the wedding was done like it was like just yeah it was just straight back to reality and everyday life which i'm sure happens to lots of people but that that's why people say you have the wedding blues it's so weird like we have just received all of our wedding photos and i didn't even want to go through them i wasn't ready to go through them it's almost like you once you've done that then it's that's it like it's happened it's done it's the weirdest feeling ever and Adam was like oh should we go through them tonight and I kept going oh not yet it's not it's not the right time and so we have now gone through them and they are incredible and it's so nice to relive that day we now have to share them with our family and friends and I need to get out thank you notes um part of me is wanting to wait until we're in our house so like I didn't even put up our wedding cards I've kind of just put all of the wedding bits in a box, like all of our gifts that we got as well, beautiful gifts. I've just kept them in the boxes and as soon as we're in our home, I'm gonna relive like that excitement. I'm gonna put all the cards up around the house, get out all our wedding gifts and just like savor the moment then. I feel like that is when I'll really get to do it kind of thing. It's, it probably sounds crazy to people, but so I'm just going to vlog, it's Friday today, I'm going to vlog this weekend, this is going to be going up on Sunday. We've got a few things going on, we are out for dinner this evening, which oh my god, I can't tell you how much we need this. That's the other thing, we have not even had, we've had one date night, sorry, went to the cinema, but the wedding was like what, seven or eight weeks ago now? We have not had one night together, just me and him. Um, which again, it's like, uh, like, it was our choice not to have the honeymoon till next year but you don't really realise those precious moments just go by so quickly. Um, so tonight we are we have a sitter, my mum's coming to look after the kids and we are going to go out for dinner with Adam's, some of Adam's family, like his cousins. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to one of our favourite restaurants and then tomorrow we are going to see Craig David. He's performing locally to us at dreamland in margate but i'm just going to be showing you my outfits i've had a few things from revolve which i'm going to show you as well and i have a few pr packages to show you too so there's going to be a lot of outfits in this and just everyday goings on i will also do a separate house update video because so many of you are messaging me saying when's the next house update and i have been doing monthly ones on my home account but I realised I haven't updated YouTube, which is insane. We are so close to the end. So Adam has taken Pollyanna to the cinema today. He's having a little daddy door today. But mainly so that I can get some filming done. So I have a few things to film for TikToks and Reels. I'm going to try and get as much done as I possibly can in the next two hours. Okay, I don't really know what I'm filming today. I'm kind of filming a... Um, help me choose an outfit for dinner TikTok, and then I was gonna do some get ready with me's um, This is look number one for a date night outfit This is from style cheat and the bag is Ted Baker via next 
and then I've just paired it with platforms from ASOS because it is really too long on me. With the platforms it just hovers off the floor. I would love to wear this with flat shoes for daytime. I think it's a really daytime colour. Um, but I need to get it taken up. It has pockets. It's a really, really beautiful fabric. Um, I've actually rolled it up here as well, just so where I'm quite short and my tummy is my shortest part. Um, I just wanted a little bit more midriff on show. Um, so yeah, this is option number one. I think this is more girls brunch, bottomless drinking, that kind of vibe. I think not like evening, romantic setting. Um, but I love it anyway. I'm going to do a quick get ready with me as well. Please excuse the mess behind me. Um, this is option number two for dinner this evening. I don't know. These jeans just look so faded. They're Zara. They're about a year old, but they really, really have gone like a funny colour here. Like, yeah, just faded, but not in a good vintage faded kind of way. Um, so this is the look, which I think is quite like sophisticated. Um, we're not like, we're not going to a bar, we're not dancing, um, we're literally just going for dinner. Uh, so I thought this would be cool, like a really cool look. And then these shoes I got from the charity shop for £12, but they gave me Matilda Durf vibes, which I am obsessed with. But I'm just not sure how comfortable I feel wearing them, to be honest. I don't really know if it is my style, but... The Dior shoes that have like the sling back, they're pretty much the same. They're like a little kitten heel, very pointy. So I think it's just like trying to get used to seeing you in something, isn't it? I would love this, but I just don't think the jeans are working. And I have no idea where my jeans are, so I'm not sure what to do. Um, the jeans, jeans make it look a little bit casual. The, I'm, I, it's hard with a waistcoat. You don't want it to look workwear. So I always try and style the waistcoats with things so that it doesn't look like I'm going to work. Um, so yeah, let me have a little think. Okay. We have another option, but again, it's just not really working. Um, this skirt has literally just come. It's from I Saw It First. It was £12 on sale. It's a wrap skirt. It ties up here into like a little knot. And I got this to actually wear potentially tomorrow to the festival with cowboy boots. Um, but I just thought I would try it on with a waistcoat but and the kitten heels. But it's still not working. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's driving me crazy. I hate when this happens. This was another option which I've just quickly tried. I thought the shorts and this shoes I think are a really good little match. But I can't find a top to go with these shorts. These are from Revolve. Um, where it ties, these shorts are meant to tie into a, a knot bow. Um, so it means that you have to wear these with a crop top or something tucked in. I don't have many tops like that. This top here, the linen and the silk it's just clashing for me. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I think I have found the outfit that I'm gonna wear this evening. Adam has also just called to say he is about half an hour away. Um, so I've literally just spent my time trying on outfits for tonight. Uh, why am I so unproductive? I have filmed a get ready with me and I've also been filming me trying on these outfits so hopefully that will make one whole video in itself. Um, but I was hoping to film a get ready with me. Oh, it keeps changing, colour keeps changing. I was hoping to film a get ready with me for this evening so I didn't have to do it later. I might try and do it now quickly. So this top is the naked fashion one which you have seen over here on my channel before got a beautiful bow back detail and then the shorts are pretty lavish and they have pockets and they're a linen blend they're just really beautiful a nice tailored pair of shorts but uh they're just they're tailored but they can be worn in so many different ways they're like a real casual staple piece as well and then the shoes which I got from the charity shop so I don't know what bag I would wear with this this is why I need like a, a raffia bag you know, like the yeast seller on one. I need a bag like that. That is that is next on my wish list. Yeah, I'm not sure what bag to wear with it, but 
I think we have an outfit. Okay, so I've just managed to film this get ready with me for tonight. So that's like four pieces of content I've done. Um, and then I'll try and get an outfit photo as well for Instagram. Honestly, with these new platforms that keep rolling out, the amount of work now, it's like trying to produce twice the amount of content. Um, and obviously people are saying that reels aren't, no, photos aren't doing well on Instagram. And it's really, really put me off Instagram because I just, I love an outfit photo. I hate reels because they just move too quick. You can't really take the outfit in. You can't save it. You can't take inspo from it. It's just too quick. But anyway, um, I've been loving TikTok. Um, so yeah, this is tonight's outfit. I've added black accessories because I didn't have a bag that would match this. And then I thought, because it does look like it's going to rain, um, I thought if it does rain, I can just throw on a black blazer and it will just top this outfit off. So my mum is here now, ready to look after the kids. And this is the outfit that I ended up going for. I've added the blazer just because the weather keeps going grey and it is like spitting a little bit. So just to kind of put over my head in case I need it. Um, bag is vintage. The shoes are vintage. The shorts are pretty lavish belt is dior and then the top which has the open back is naked fashion i'll link to everything in the description box i'm hoping adam will get a photo for yeah. me so i have some pr packages here which i'm just going to go through with you um this one is bondi sands now for those that know this is obviously the first summer that i've not wore fake tan because we went away so early but i always always wear Bondi Sands pretty much. It's always my go-to. Um, there's one other brand that I use, which I actually have a PR package here with. Um, but bon Bondi Sands, like the classic, is what I tend to go for if I'm looking for a quick tan. They've sent this little PR package with some stickers. The kids are going to love that. Um, but also to celebrate their new beauty range. So this is a Sunny Days SPF 50. And... And I spy brightening eye cream and then we have one of those things that I can tie my hair back with and do my skincare saying that I just remembered they also sent me a, pe a few skincare pieces um, a few weeks ago and this is the sweet dreams hydrating night moisturizer and the clay mask now I haven't used these yet because for some reason being in this house I have not got a good nighttime routine or morning routine um, but I'm definitely going to give it a try because, you know, they say fake tan starts with the the skincare beforehand. So I'm going to give them a good, good, good try. Then we have a new brand, which I've never heard of, but this is Manta Sleep. And they have sent me a sleep mask. What does it say about this? So it says, blocks out 100% of light and puts zero pressure on your eyes. Never let poor sleep interfere with your life again zero eye pressure they've also sent me some eye cups to go with it gentle snag free fastener so it won't get caught on my hair 100 percent blackout which is amazing because the room that we're in it has no curtains and literally we are waking up at five o'clock in the morning um and then super soft breathable fabric okay i've also just realized these are upgrades so you upgrade your eye cups so you can buy the cool eye cups I see relief for your head, eyes, and sinuses. The Max Eye Cups, which is the ones that they've sent me. Um, but I don't wear eyelash extensions. So I think I'm going to reach out to them and ask for some of the cool and warm eye cups. Soothing stream for instant relief from tired eyes. That I want to try. And then we have some new products from Crazy Angel. Now I have reviewed... A few of their tans quite a few um, I tend to do before and afters on my Instagram and you lot every time I do message me like link to this what one is it so this must be some of their new products we've got the blending brush okay so what's in here oh the body highlighter I love stuff like this for an evening a summer evening out I love that just like to put over your shoulders it's also good to wear instead of makeup in the daytime and then body foundation this is something I've never ever used 
so I'm interested to try these products. Morning everyone, it's Sunday now today. Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> um, Pollyanna's here. <laughs> We Yucky. went to Craig David last night and it was so good. I put a photo up of my outfit. I absolutely loved it. It was just such a good night. Like for me, growing up listening to Craig David, like seeing him is like up there with like Beyonce, my favorite concert ever. It was really, really good. And the fact that it was like in our hometown was just like so good. Um, so it was lovely. And we had a night away from the kids. They stayed at my mum's. So yeah, it was just very, very nice. And then today we have a birthday party for the kids. One of my best friends, little boy, it's his birthday. So we're gonna pop over there. Um, before that, we were gonna go to Margate because there is a little antique shop and they have a really nice like white antique bed, which I think would be perfect for Pollyanna's bedroom. So we're gonna pop in, see how much that is. Maybe, yeah, depending on like measurements and stuff hopefully get that we really need to start getting bits for the house now um, I'm also going to show you the house today so stay tuned I'm going to show you what is going on be a little bit of a house update today I am wearing I've literally we just got up we're just going to go to Adam's mum and dad's for some bacon rolls um, I'm wearing this dress from next it has pockets it's fully lined the fabric is quite like a heavy weighted dress which is so perfect for this time of year now like the weather is changing a little bit it's very unpredictable it has this beautiful tie waist you can tie the top up but for me i i never tie these up like that because i just feel a bit too restricted so i always wear them like this and then my sandals are zara oh and i haven't got my bag with me but the bag is another item that i picked up from the charity shop um really nice like a brown leather bag um, with like a wooden handle very 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 nice something that you would get on like mango or something like that my hair I luckily tied it up in a ponytail last night and it's still curly so I've not even had to do anything to my hair I'm going for a no makeup day today I've got the gazoo honey oil on my lips to hydrate them we have just come to the house and the house is starting to look like a proper house, a home. Uh, me and Adam have just had a debate about where to put the sofa in the new room. We will get back to that in a minute. <laughs> He's still looking at me like I'm wrong. I'll come back to that in a moment. Let me show you the rooms. So this, if you'll remember, was our living room. It still is going to be a kind of snug living room. Where our dining table was, we have put up a stud wall and made this room a little bit smaller to give more room onto the kitchen dining area out there but it's still a really good sized room we unfortunately took away the fireplace which i was really sad about because i do love a real fire but where it wasn't central to the room and we're going to put the tv up on this wall we got rid of it but i'm still really sad about that to be honest we're trying to keep the beams but we have to speak to the plasterer cracks have came come through on the ceiling but also he kind of his first initial plan was to board over the beams and i've said to adam that like, i'd really really like to keep them so we're going to do our best to see what the best option is but adam started stripping the wallpaper um and we're going to see what can be done but i really hope we can keep keep them um what else the floorboards well remember i done this all white before but um, we're gonna fill, fill in the gap and keep this wooden floors, I think. I don't know, it's really hard because there's gonna be wooden floors in here, but a different wood, it's gonna be like parquet flooring. So I don't know if it's gonna be too strange going from parquet flooring into the traditional flooring that's in here or whether we should carpet it so it is more like a snug room. It's really hard because I loved this at Christmas time when after I painted it white, um, I loved I loved the style of that room and then coming into the kids playroom you'll remember there was also a, chip, um, a fireplace here we had to remove that because the whole thing wasn't working was it the whole taking it out from the roof okay so yes yeah, so it wasn't, a working, it wasn't a working fireplace so there was just no point it took up lots of room yeah no point keeping it because it was yeah taking up so much room and it makes such a difference that being gone so we can use like this whole back wall for storage of like all the kids toys and stuff 
Um, so that's been boarded up this week and this will still be their playroom. And again, we need to decide what to do on flooring in here as well. Whatever's in here will be the same as in there. Yeah, so we'll suggest. keep it the same as, yeah, whatever we decide to go for in the living room, we'll keep we'll, the we'll same. Have it all the same. Definitely not throughout. carpet though, that's for sure. We'll have it the same throughout. Yeah. Or whatever you want to do. With yeah. It. It's going to really need to make decisions soon. And then coming into our new kitchen dining space, this section here, this section here, as you come in on the right hand side, it was going to be a cupboard for hoovers and mops and things like that. But we're going to have a utility. So I said to Adam, I'd really like to make use of the space. So I thought about a bar um, and I was trying to get some kind of like vintage, but like an actual bar. But where the stud wall goes in, it just it just wouldn't have worked. So instead, we're going to have a counter and then a wine cooler and then some shelving for some nice like champagne glasses and things. I'll insert a photo there to give you an idea. And then over here, as you come in, this will all be floor to ceiling cabinets and there will be a floor to ceiling fridge and freezer. Um, so we're going to have so much cabinet space. And then over here, we're going to have a range cooker on the back wall with like a feature thing around it with brick on show. Um, we went for a really traditional style rather than modern. Then we're going to have a huge island in the middle and at the end of the island down here, there'll be a butcher's block. And then on the island is actually going to be a... Um, a Neff combi cooker, so we will also have um, a micro combi as well as the the range. So um, I feel better that we've got both, just in case we take it takes a while to get to get on with the the range cooker. And then over here, there'll be all lower cabinet trees along here, and then the sink goes underneath the window. Initially, we had decided just to have shelving along this wall here. Every time I looked at the drawings, I didn't like it. I wasn't drawn to it. There was something missing. So then I came up with this idea that we would have this black glass cabinetry feature wall over there. Um, it is way out of our budget, so we have to just see what happens. It is something that we can add in maybe in a few months, but we don't, we don't know if we're going to have it straight away. Um, so for now, that will be single cabinetry if we don't go for it. I'll insert a photo to show you what that will look like. But it really is like a wow feature to the kitchen and it matches the windows. It's kind of like a crittle style um, shelving unit. And then we've got the big lantern going along here. And that gets fitted on Monday, I believe, like next week. So very, very soon. That will really open up this space as well. We have the bifold doors which open up this way and then these ones open up that way. So it's gonna be a real like in and out flow. We're gonna have a dining table along here. I found the one on Home Barn which I really like. Adam wanted something bigger but I'm struggling to find one. I don't wanna compromise the style for the size. So it's really it's really tough and like I feel like we're up against time now because we wanna get it, we wanna get these bits for when we move in otherwise it just doesn't happen does it? And then along here, we're going to have a TV. Now, me and Adam were debate. We had a debate, um, which we've had many, many of over this, this, this period. He thinks the sofa is going to go underneath the TV. I was like, what? No way. No one. I was like, when have you ever gone into a house and there is a sofa under the TV? He was like, well, we're not actually going to use this room for watching t TV. And I said, oh, ah, ha, ha. Like, the kids are, oh, like, of course they're going to watch TV, like, while I'm making dinner. Like, they'll be using it. As much as we think it will just be for background noise, it's going to be used a lot. So I, I had initially, this is actually going to be a feature wall as well at some point. Again, out of budget at the moment it's going to be a really beautiful feature wall uh, with kind of shelving and just really beautiful so i don't know why he got the idea that the sofa was going to go under the tv i don't know where that come from but we will have some kind of um kind of like a cloud style white puffy sofa along here um either an l shape maybe to like break up that section and make it separate yeah, there'll be something, but um, so this is downstairs, and now all the boards are up. It just has really, really come alive, and then it gets plastered next week. And then coming into here, there'll be a door. Let me go back. 
there'll be a door on here so you'll open it up and this will be our utility so again we're just going to have single um storage i think we've got one long cupboard i hope actually i'll insert the pictures but i'm sure we've got one long cupboard because i asked for that for like the hoover the mop um and then single cabinetries which will have like dish and uh, not dishwasher the washing machine and tumble dryer uh, we're not going to have a sink in here though which i know some people do but just because we're so we're literally the sinks there and I just make, mainly want this utility for like folding up clothes, having clothes out, you know, so they're out of sight. In here, there'll be another door. There'll be another door here, and this takes you into Adam's office. Um, and then these doors open up onto the garden. He's gonna get a real soundproof door on here as well, so hopefully it will be okay. But it's a really nice size, and he'll have his little desk here. I think he's gonna be designing this this little space himself, but um, it's really cool. And then on the other one, on the other side, there'll be another door, and this will take you down into the downstairs toilet. Um, so that's just really handy, just a toilet and sink. And then coming upstairs, this space here, if you can remember, there was a toilet this side where it's boarded up now. Here was our bathroom. Um, we have actually had to add more work to this. We The wall stopped here. And then I thought of this idea of having this as like a little nook where we had books shelving all around and then a seat, like a, yeah, like a little window seat or something. And we took a bit more off the wall to bring it back. There'll be a door along here so that we can get into the boiler and things like that when necessary. But I'll insert a photo again of what I think this space is gonna be. If not, I've also just found a really, really nice French antique um, dresser, which I know I've already got one, but this one's more square, and I thought maybe that could hold towels and things like that, but I don't know. I like both ideas. Um, in here, this was my dressing room, which just had all my clothes, basically. This is going to be the bathroom. You can see that part there, which was where our toilet was here. That's now gonna be the shower. We've already got the tower rail up, so you can see it's gonna be gold hardware. And yeah, we're gonna have a, like a roll top bath with, um, you know, like the claw feet and really traditional sink, really traditional shower. I'll insert my mood board for that one. Um, but again, yeah, really just keeping it like traditional, but yeah, I just, I'd love that kind of style, really. Um, Pollyanna's room, they boarded the ceiling because there was wallpaper on it, which I didn't even know that was gonna actually happen. And then we're just make, deciding on whether or not to keep the, the dado rail, is that what they're called? Alfie's bedroom, where the chimneys come out, it's made it so much bigger. I'm gonna try and put some fitted wardrobes in his and like a bed with a slide. And then coming into our bedroom, um, we need to decide, so where that chimney has come out, look how much like extra room we have now. Um, we're gonna have Ikea fitted wardrobes in here because we've obviously lost a whole bedroom until we go up into the loft. We are gonna be really tight on space, especially like for me, my clothes. So we're gonna have a fitted wardrobe, but we, it was initially gonna be along here, but I've just said to Adam, maybe along here, wardrobes, and a bed coming out here, with two drawers next to it. So then like you're looking out onto the view. I don't know, but then we've, we've got the TV up on this wall and then we've already put in the plugs for the bedside table. So they've been wired into the walls and stuff. So it's, it's very complicated. There's so much things like you make decisions and then after as you go along, you, you start to think other things will be better. Um, but that, there we have it. It's pretty much, yeah. We get in there.